and this thing has, has proven to be the, the platform for, for you know, the world's uh, tourism industry, for the leading world travel trade show. And given all the, the trends that also Sherwood mentioned, um, I think uh, we, are, we are very optimistic that that ITB is the place to be uh, to to be the, the host for for those discussions, for those important um, decisions, also of, of all the companies operating in the market. So um, I'm I'm quite optimistic. Maybe David wants to add some more about the ITB family, um, also around the world. We are uh, ITB is in its 57th year, founded in 1966 as a rather small exhibition. We're now with 5,500 exhibiting companies from 161 countries and nations. And uh, we have expanded our brand family to Asia. We have uh, events going on in Singapore, in Shanghai, in Mumbai. And uh, it is possible that we expand the scope of our events also to the Western Hemisphere. And uh, that we have uh, proved that already with our Travel X event in Georgia past May. Um, that we have, we'll have also smaller events in, in other countries. It's also um, uh, possible that we extend uh, ITB in, in a way to, I, to uh, 365 uh, membership where ITB participants can gain knowledge and profit from, from networks uh, all year round. Uh, especially in, in travel and tourism where we all are, are, are human beings who, who cannot do a handshake through the internet. Lots of potential to increase uh, the, the interest, the active interest of the clients and, and for, for that I believe we need to present more information to the clients and that is uh, about the uh, carbon footprint uh, of the specific offer uh, the, the clients get presented. What does that mean to the climate footprint? And by, uh, by presenting that information, we have much more transparency. And uh, I believe with the, uh, with the added transparency, we are able and, and will move the clients in order to uh, be more sensitive about these matters. Can I add something? Yes, absolutely. Certainly. What we've seen from the customer perspective is that there is a lot of interest. People are interested in their impact. To Norbert's point, there needs to be a lot more information available and transparency. I think the rub is people don't want to necessarily pay more for sustainability, right? Carbon offsets have been available for a long time, but the uptake is, is very little. Um, so I think there needs to be a lot more information presented, certainly, uh, but also, I think, just along that same vein, uh, in destination, there are a lot of opportunities. The low-hanging fruit within, once people actually are making those decisions, getting to a destination, and destination management companies are doing a lot in, in that area as well. So I think, tackle the low-hanging fruit, a lot of companies are obviously you know, doing a lot to tackle carbon offsets, but their own footprints, etc. Um, so there will be a lot more in this area to come, for sure. It's definitely a hot topic. It's, it's, it's not easy. Absolutely.